Hi, this is Swanette from Nell Stand for Fun. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to create this manicure and we'll be using the lead light technique. I learned the lead light technique from Messy Mansion. She has a video here on YouTube which I'm going to link down below for you guys. Go check it out. She explains it super clearly and does a beautiful manicure with this technique. You guys have to check it out. And I decided to create this manicure for a Sunday nail art challenge on Facebook. It's very simple, you guys. And all you need is a beautiful pattern, a floral pattern. I will be using this plate, which is from Bunny Nails. It's B-U-N-A-B -B plate. And it's this beautiful pattern right here which we'll be filling in with color. I hope you guys enjoy the video. For this technique, you're going to need polishes that dry, you know, see-through, but have that hint of color. For example, jelly polishes or these OPI sheer tints. Those work great as well. That's what I use for the flowers. And you can also create your own, which I'm going to show you guys. And all you need is clear polish and your favorite color that you want to turn into a sheer tint. And it's very easy, you guys. I'm going to try to show you the best way I can, step by step. And I hope this video is very helpful. Remember, you know, I'm not an expert in this technique. Honestly, I have to say it's the first time I've done all my nails using this technique. And uh, I wanted to show you guys, this is another way you can fill your images with color. Maybe it's a little bit more simple than advanced stamping or reverse stamping. Okay, so let's begin. First, you apply your base color. I will be using Orally Day Glow. It really, this method really works best if you use lighter colors. Okay, so if you want to start to try this out, you might want to start out with a white color, okay? So this is Orly Day Glow. I already applied two coats. It's fully dried and now we're going to stamp. Alright? Remember, if you don't have this particular plate, you can use any plate with a floral pattern. Just look for those beautiful floral patterns which you can fill in with color. This is another example. So you see, you really don't have to use the same thing. Um, or any other beautiful pattern that you want to fill in. So let's apply the polish. Gently swipe. Pick up. And stamp. There we go push anything that is lifted very carefully okay and now we're ready to fill it in with color first we're going to be filling in the stems and the leaves with a beautiful green color and we'll be using orally green with MB and because this polish does seem to be um, Thin, I want it to be a little bit more thinner, okay? And you can do that mixing it in with some clear polish. So if you don't have um, jelly polishes, you can make your own, okay? Or you don't have um, the sheer tints, you can make your own. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to apply, oops, we're going to apply a dot of the beautiful green polish. This is just a piece of plastic from a, a packaging and we're just going to add the clear polish then you take your small detail brush and you can take you can also use a dotting tool of course or a small toothpick so as you can see it has that clear consistency you can see and now, hopefully you can see, we're going to paint the stems. I hope my shaky hands lets me paint 
<laughs> this is a very light green. It's just to give it a, that a touch, a hint of color. I hope you can really see that in the video. So we're going to carefully fill that in. And we have to hurry because the polish dries. So as you can see, it's very easy. I'm going to paint this green too. Okay, I think that's it. Let's paint this up here green. I hope you can see that. So it's really just a hint of color, okay? And let's go on to the next step. Now we're going to fill in the flower and I will be using these beautiful polishes from OPI which are called Sheer Tints. First I apply the pink. Try to use little of this polish because this polish tends to be very um, goopy. So you just want to try to use a little bit, okay? And give it a touch. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can leave it like that, then go over it again so it can look more pink. Because um, honestly, with this pink one, you should go over like twice. So that's what I did. I'm going to add a little bit more pink. Just a little, just a hint. Okay. That's what I did to all my nails. And when I was done, I went on to the next step. Let's let that dry and I'll be back. Now we're going to finish with the purple. And we're just going to fill in all the rest. This is really an awesome technique. Because you don't have to, um, it's not such a pain sometimes like the advance or the reverse. <laughs> it's a little bit more quicker. But if you're looking for a more opaque look, well then um, this might not work out, okay? This is like a little light touch, like a hint of color. It's very pretty. Oh my god, I've seen so many beautiful manicures done with this technique. You guys should really check that out. On Instagram, there's a lot. On Facebook, all you have to do is search let like technique and you're gonna find a lot of beautiful manicures now I've finished so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a top coat Okay, now I'm going to let that fully dry and I'll be back. The step I'm going to show you guys right now is optional, but I wanted to add some sparkle to my nail. I hope you can see that. Let's see. I hope so. <laughs> and uh, what I did was I added a coat of China Glaze Golden Enchantment. And this is just a very pretty golden um, glitter polish. It's very beautiful. And what I did, it's very important to apply a top coat before you apply this because um, this will smudge your stamping, okay? So that's why I applied the top coat first. Now I'm going to apply a 
thin coat of this over it. And then I finish off with a top coat. And I'm done. Okay, so let me get my top coat and apply it again, all right? Because this really does make your nails very shiny. Look how beautiful that looks. And here's the final results. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about this beautiful technique, which I learned from Messy Mansion. And check out her video and go tell her I sent you guys. <laughs> and I hope you have fun trying this out. And if you would like to share your photos, remember I'm on Instagram and on Facebook. And I would love to see them. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye. Bye.